So in this week's Pearson Work Holding Q&A, I get a really good question. Um, I'll walk you out to the shop floor and answer that, but before I do, do you know that we have a second channel? It's called Pearson Plus, and on our Pearson Plus channel, we answer questions just like this. Like, how do we do the little nitty gritty things regarding our company? All the little improvements, all the changes, how we employ and deploy lean throughout the company, and most of that content is shot by the guys actually doing the improvements, my employees. But for now, let's talk about this question. So our hanging rotary unit has always been a big discussion point in our videos. One of the commenters said, how do you do that? I'm gonna talk about that right now. Let's head around to the back. Okay, so this is just an off the shelf uh, winch that we bought from McMaster Car. I'll put uh, the uh, McMaster Car part number on the screen right now and in the description below. Uh, we bought this, which came with this handle. Um, so you can see it just goes on, hold on, you can see. But as you can see, it's also pretty slow. So we bought an extra adapter, 5 8 hex here. So we'll drive it to kind of rapid the, um, the unit into place. And then we're, we're replacing it on the PPS. Then we'll go in with the hand crank and then we'll do the final adjustments. Uh, the only other thing that we bought was this cable. This did not come with cable. And then we bought a hook. So pretty much those three part numbers is all we got from McMaster. As far as modifications, this uh, is only anchored by this screw right here, which is fine. It's, it, this existed as part of the housing of the sheet metal, uh, just bolts it down. We were gonna put a second screw, but after looking at it, we go, well, the best screw is no screw. There's no forces that this would rip it off of its you know, uh, platform, so let's just go with it. Uh, some of the early comments were like, I would never put that on, it's not designed to hold the weight of a hundred or call it even round up to 200 pound rotor unit. I've seen Haas technicians stand on the top of these enclosures. And from an engineering perspective, it's got this uh, channel right here that's welded onto the top that adds even more stability. It's fine, we have stood on this, it's normal. It's, it's fine, trust me. We did drill one hole and then I overkilled on a design, it's kind of this little ramp thing. So when the winch is spooling left to right, uh, I, I wanted to do just a simple pulley, but when I put it in place, first of all, to get it in place was tricky, but the pulley, depending on the angle of which the, the wire was going into it, it wouldn't track right and it would like fall off. It just wasn't great. So the best spinny thing is no spinny thing. So now we just have this kind of like this chute that steers the cable down into the hole at any angle. So it's simplicity, simplicity, simplicity. It's been such a great game changer as far as not having to over process every time we wanna take the rotor unit offline. So check out our Pearson Plus channel. You can see that that was quick and dirty. We just wanna show you actual working conditions in a real shop. So until next time, go innovate your production.